You pass the immigration, try to go to the exit door and you'll find tons of people here. Try to look for people in oranges because they are from Sunwing and they will lead you to the shuttle bus which bring you to the resort. It will take you up to 40 minutes to get from the Cancun port to my resort and you can always give tips to the driver if you want. The check-in they will also ask you to pay for deposit and also environmental fee which is makes sense because we're living in a resort with a lot of wild animals and they will also give you this card for towels. Don't forget to take it back once you return your towel. As this is an all-inclusive resort, don't worry, all the drinks in the fridge will be replaced tomorrow and they will add more depending on what you want except these alcohol drinks that they give us. It's a gift. For first day, we arrived pretty late around dinner time. We just had a buffet and walk around the area. But the next day, don't forget to check out this tour desk area where you can find any kind of excursion with different promotions and events. Make sure to compare all of them and go with the cheaper one, but don't forget, go with the trustworthy one. So if you guys don't know about excursion, you can also check out the Sunwing apps. They will show you in the website how the excursion works and it's an additional fee and it's in US dollar. So if you're Canadian, don't forget to bring your US dollar. You can also use your credit card. And we decided to go to Escarved, which is a very popular place there are tons of options you can also go check out the cenotes you can also check out the uh, the mayan ruins any kind of excursion they will have like one day package which include the transportation and also the food so don't worry about it it's just a day in your resort and you can always take more excursion depending on your budget Also right now I'm showing you guys how the area looks like it's pretty huge and they have golf car for free it's included it's from the entrance gate to the beach area so it operates like pretty much every day every time until 11 p.m. and also if you guys forget to bring anything there's a souvenir shop which a bit pricey like $20 for like toothbrush and toothpaste but um, if you guys not planning to go anywhere outside the resort, this is a good place for you to buy all the gifts for your families in your country. Please don't do the same mistake as we did. Bring your own toothbrush and toothpaste because it's not included in the utilities. And if you want to pay, it's about 20 bucks USD. Gracias, baby. So instead of making a vlog, I decided to make this video and divide it into different parts. So I will show you what you can do in the morning, afternoon, and also night because they have tons of activities that you don't want to miss. for breakfast you cannot choose the a la carte restaurant so in the morning you can have is 
buffet but the buffet is really good it's gonna be the same in every location of this next bar you go all the buffet have the same menus but i think from my experience the one in the entrance or the main area is the best and it's the biggest one but you can explore more for sure And they also have this kind of like a uh, bar and it's not part of the all-inclusive you can pay more I don't know how it works because we not go there we just like walk around and it's very private I don't see any kids here so it's very chill if you have any extra pocket money or like you just want to be more luxurious or celebrating something highly check out this area it's called the chill out it's on the other side of the beach Please make sure to sign in through their website for the guests right away once you get here because it's very informative. It will show you what activities they have for the day or the next day and it will show in details what time it will start and where's the meeting point. You can also book your a la carte restaurants there and the activities in the morning are mostly outdoor so if you guys don't know what to do go ahead and check out the pool and the beaches is very nice If you start getting bored of the buffet food you have every single day for breakfast for lunch time please try something different go check out this burger and taco stalls it's located nearby the pools and it's also part of the inclusive so you don't have to pay extra i didn't try the burger but it smells really good you guys should try the tacos oh my god it's amazing i don't see any veg options so i don't know if they have any vegan or vegetarian something like that but if you're like a non-veg like me it's a really must try place it's amazing and there's always a lineup and it's only for lunch okay so please try this out wow. Hola. Hola, how are you lady? i'm good thank you for asking uh can we get one Yeah, thank 
And I forgot to mention this earlier that all the drinks are included and it's free like totally free because that's why they call it all-inclusive resort and this is my favorite area because it's just very chill and I love this girl so much and you guys have to check it and stay longer here <laughs> For dinner time, please go try out their a la carte restaurants. We haven't got a time to try all of them, but our favorite is the La Fleur. I'm sorry if I mentioned it wrong but it's the french restaurant look at the ambience and the food is amazing if you guys fell in love with one of the restaurants you can come back there again for another day because per night they will only allow you to book one a la carte restaurant Pretty much all the activities at night are centralized in the main plaza or the main area so make sure to come here after dinner or before dinner time and you guys can watch all of these performances no reservation needed this is a very kids friendly they have different kinds of performance every single day so this is like the Aladdin they have like international performance and it's full of like singers dancers and it's very interactive as well and you can stay up in this area up until 10 or 11 as i remember and if you're adults above 19 or 21 and you have extra energy go check out their club which open until 2 a.m in the morning and it's still a lot of people there <laughs>
off performances and start feeling hungry again, go check out the buffet because they are still open until late night and they have unique tropical foods that might be expensive in the area, such as this one and mangoes. They're amazing. And also remember that the shuttle called the car, which brings you everywhere in this an animal lover like me you will definitely love this resort because look at those they are coatis that's what the local told me and it's basically like a raccoon and they love looking for garbage and they're always in a trash can and they are not scared of human they're everywhere in the morning and afternoon i didn't see them much at night and they're very cute look at those tails you will also find tons of iguanas, different shapes, different kind, different gender, and they're just like sunbathing in the morning. And look at those. I'm so lucky that I can see this Mayan long tails um, monkey, which is very rare. I never seen this animal before. And make sure that you don't get close to them because they're still wild animals. And just let them be in their nature, right? And look at the cute little face. During our stay, we also found three to four cats around our room area and they're really friendly. We didn't touch them, we just get close to them and they're just very chill. A day before your flight back to your original country, make sure to go to the reception desk, ask about the shuttle bus, what time it's gonna leave, and they will let you know in detail where is the meeting point and what time you have to be there on time. Your driver will take you to different resorts to picking up guests from the same airline companies before going to the airport and this is why they want you to leave 5 to 6 hours before the actual flight. You guys are 100% staying all the time at the resort area, not even checking out the downtown 5th Avenue and also didn't even buy or forgot to get some souvenir from the store in the resort. Here is the time for you to get some gift for your loved one in your country. It's a bit pricey but it is what it is. It's a very Mexican uh, traditional gift and also I'm having some lunch for takeout and don't forget to try out this horchata i forgot the brand but it's right beside the panda express and it's the most amazing horchata i've ever drank we do really enjoy our trip and our stay at the resort we went there during the low season so it's not too crowded so please please avoid summertime high season holidays and also the hurricane season enjoy guys cheers